Hello everybody and welcome to another Armored Replay video brought to you by your old pal, Don't Fear the Reaper. Today's replay is titled, We Are Doomed. Let's win anyway. Now why would I name a video that? Well, here's why. Look at this matchmaking. We've got a tier 9 Draco, uh, making it a tier 9 match. And he's platooned up with two tier 8s, a paladin and a mobile gun system, and two tier 7s, a Wiesel Wolf Edition, and a Lav 600. There is not a main battle tank to be seen in this group. Um, so the, uh, the matchmaker is definitely going to make their work cut out for them. And... This is also the kind of matchmaking that we're not supposed to see once Balance 2.0 comes out because um, the matchmaker is not supposed to allow for non-battle tank games. There should be at least one battle tank. Um, but, uh, but these guys uh, don't really need the battle tank. Uh, but before we get into too many uh, spoilers here, let's go ahead and fire up uh, the, the magic way back, the uh, magic replay machine, and get this show on the road. So again, just showing you the matchmaking, just uh, so you can double check to see that it's as bad as I said it was. Friend Gypsy is in the uh, Wiesel Wolf Edition, the premium tank version. Not exactly sure what's going to happen to the Wolf Edition uh, of the Wiesel uh, once we go into Balance 2.0. Uh, but I guess we will find out. So, there's no rage, there's no whining. <coughs> but... On the other hand, there's not a whole lot of planning either. Everybody just kind of grits their teeth and digs right on in. So Gypsy's kind of probing gently up. Draco is uh, going hell-bent for leather for the uh, hilltop, which is where Dracos tend to go. Um, he does say something in chat, and this may very well be the only thing that's said in chat this whole match. It's not in English, so I don't know what he said. Gypsy pulls back here, trying to pick up some spots without getting spotted. That's a bit of a trick on this map. But he finds a Leopard 2A6. Lines up a shot. Somebody marks the target, which is good. Gypsy starts banging on him with his little auto cannon. His little pew pew gun. Nope, the Draco will hit the help key. But I'm not sure anybody can do a whole lot for him up where he is. I imagine that T90 MS is banging on him. No, he hasn't taken any hits yet. I guess he just, uh,. He's feeling a little lonely over there, and who can blame him? The uh, I thought at first that this mobile gun system uh, had rage quit, but uh, it turns out that that that's not correct. I'm not as sure why he stayed there as long as he did, but he's going to start moving out and contributing here in just a second. Again. Gypsy takes out one of the secondaries. The Draco is taking a bit of a beating up there all by himself. That is not really a place where you want to be by yourself nowadays. The bots do aggressively attack that position. Uh, they'll even crawl up there with you. So if you're up there by yourself, you uh, you got a hard row to hoe. But now uh, he is getting some help from Gypsy Ace and from the artillery. 
You try and get that T90MS out of there before he takes the Draco out. And enemy artillery pops up briefly, but it's quickly taken care of. Which uh, kind of amazes me that that uh, uh, that the uh, friendly artillery player actually uh, continued to support the Draco. Uh, so that enemy artillery was probably banging on him. So that was a that was good play and a and a, a good sacrifice for the benefit of the team. And again, nobody said anything. Nobody uh, asked anything. They just all seem to know what to do and do it. Would that all my pub mashes were like that. The gypsy is still kind of working this plateau. Draco got killed and now he's repositioning. Gypsy's trying to make maximum use of cover. In the rail cars, firing over on the enemy. But of course, two boss main battle tanks. It's a little hard for a Vizel to do much. He goes over and starts helping with the Terminator to get that guy out of there. look again everybody is really getting after it there are no slackers in this game the mobile gun system was a little slow to start but he is making up for lost time everybody's making excellent use of cover and concealment Draco's coming up I also see that they're uh, that the AFV, which is my friend Gypsy Ace, is uh, frequently marking up targets for his uh, for his platoon mates to help them get that little bit of extra damage, take the peskier bots out of the game, and work in this ridge line. As is the mobile gun system. In fact, the Draco is going to move up to the other hilltop. Having a little trouble with an Abrams. Artillery is again coming in to help. That artillery player was on the ball this game. He always seemed to know where to put his rounds. Now an Ariete popped up on the, uh, the hilltop there. Would have been a bad business for the Draco if he was still up there. Gypsy's figured he's done just about as much good as he can do from that plateau. He starts maneuvering up, kind of face plants into a rock, but who hasn't done that in a full speed AFV? So now Gypsy is moving up to the traditional sniper's position up on the hill. Okay, are you a cannibal if you're in a Vizel and you kill a Vizel? Question for the philosophers. Draco is on perilously low health, but he has played a whale of a game. There he goes. But no shame there whatsoever. Did 18,000 damage. Everybody is pulling their weight. They even managed to get the secondaries. Now, granted, it was the easier of the two secondary missions, but... They still get credit for getting it done. Mobile gun system moves up here to... Target 
join with the Gypsy Ace up here on this hilltop. So now they basically have the bots in a crossfire with the uh, LAV 600 on one hilltop and the mobile gun system and the Vizel on the other. And look at this. Again, they're not communicating. They just all kind of know they're killing the red tanks first like they should be so that they get maximum rep and experience. And once all the red tanks are gone, then they take out the yellows um, to seal the deal and win the game. Assuming they can do it, because they've got two T90 MSs and an A2 Abrams, none of which are particularly easy targets for these guys. Paladin keeps pouring in fire when and where he can. The one boss down, two to go. Still, we've uh, at this point, we've only lost the Draco. Trying to nibble on that uh, Abrams commander hatch, I think. Let's see. Was he? Yeah, he was in for the commander's hatch. Trying to hang. Oh, there goes the uh, A2. So they just have that one T90 MS. And they have won one really hard fought, pretty amazing battle. If he tracks him, finds that weak spot, and down he goes. What a win! What a win! I mean, after a nightmare matchmaking, you get the dream team. That doesn't happen very often in pub matches, but it is fun to watch when it does. So, <clears throat> kudos to Gypsy Ace and all the other guys in that battle for a job very well done. Um... I really, really enjoyed watching this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as well. And so, until next time, happy tanking!